Hi, George. Hi, Ellie. Um, this follows on slightly from the, the, the mental strength thing. Um, I mean, you've been through periods of adversity in your career. I guess, I guess most of, most of the, your colleagues here in the squad have at, at one point or another. Obviously, with Gareth, he had the big thing when he, he, he missed that, that penalty in, in 96, which is going to be talked about ad nauseum in the build-up. Does the, the fact that he came through that and came out the other side, and he's the person he is now, does that make him, do you think, more relatable to people like you, to the squad in general, that he's, he's come out, he's experienced it, he's come out the other side of it? Yeah, I think it's a, a, a good example of, well, I can imagine the feeling that he had at that, that moment in time. Um, but yeah, things like that, you've got to deal with, move on um, and make you try and make it to make you t a stronger person, really. And I I'm sure if you speak to the gaffer, he'll tell you that it did that for sure. Um, so, yeah, all of a lot of us have been through adversity in our lives and some some way or somehow you, you try and use that to be better. You try and use that as motivation to be better. Um, and yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm sure a lot of the lads in the squad have had to go through things like that. And that's where you sort of grow and the, the mentally tough side comes in, really. Um, and the mental strength, like, like we're talking about, is is really important. And I think you sort of grow with that or you, um, you learn from your, your past experiences that you've been through. Just one quick follow up from that. Do, do, have you, I'm not making light of it, but have you seen any of the stuff around that? I mean, you've see, presumably you've seen footage of that, of that penalty. I mean, are you aware of stuff like the pizza advert? Have you seen that? that no. No, well, what happened? What's happened with the pizza advert? No, he, he, he and Stuart Pearce and Chris Waddle did, um, did a, an advert for, uh, I think it was Pizza Hut or something. Right. Was, which was sort of making, you know, they were making fun of each other. It was a, yeah. yeah. Right, no. It's an interesting, you know, it's just one way of dealing with it, I guess. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, okay, we'll go online to John Cross in the mirror. Hi, hi, Jordan. Nice to see you. I just wonder whether I could just expand a little bit more on the mentality um, aspect, really. I guess for, for many years, we always used to think of the Germans as the mentality monsters, that they were the, the, the you know, arch uh, exponents of that, really, and sort of mental strength. Are we at that, are we at that level yet? Because we really seem to have, uh, um, have kicked on. And can I just slip another cheeky one in yet? Has, <laughs> has, has Jürgen been in touch on text yet or anything like that? <laughs> Um, I wouldn't like to compare us with, with other teams, to be honest. I think the mentality has changed over the last few years in a positive way and what we've experienced together as a team. Um, and we need to use that come Tuesday and, and going forward over the next however many years. You know, We need to keep improving that because it's a big part of the game. Um, and the answer to your second question is yes, he has. <laughs> What do he say? Can I ask? To be honest, he just, he went, as soon as the final whistle went, he just sent us like a smiley face emoji. <laughs> 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 Thanks, John. Uh, next, go to Matt Nash in the Metro. Hi, Jordan. Um, the way the, the team is now and the way the team's come on the last few years, do, do you think now there's no fear of, of the Germans that there might once have been a few years ago? Well, I think we still give them a lot of respect. You know, I think they're still a top, top team with world-class players, like I just said. Um, so it's going to be a tough game for us. Um, but we're in knockouts of the Euros, so it's always going to be tough. Um, and it's a really big game. All the lads will be, will be really excited for it. It's um, a big game for us to, to see where we're, where we're at as a, as a team, really, and where we can get to um, because we've been going really well over the last few years progressing as a team over the last few games we've been doing we've been yes really good defensively very solid um would like to have scored like like we've spoke about a few more goals but at the end of the day we've been keeping clean sheets winning games top the group so still a lot of positivity um within the last three performances and um we need to take all of that um into the game tuesday thanks matt we'll take one more in the room rob harris um, 
you know, so much of the England German rivalry is focused on the past. There's so many, so much focus old games, old history. Do you think it's changed a bit now because of the likes of Jurgen and their influence in English football? And you know, it's almost softened the England German rivalry because they're so influential. People like Jurgen. Yeah, it, the gaffers at Liverpool has been very influential, of course, at Liverpool. Yeah. But the sort of charisma he's got as well. I think a lot of a lot of people love him. You know, even if you're a new, neutral fan. So he's had a big part on, on English football in the Premier League. Um, but for, for us as players, you know, you don't really tend to think too much about the history and it's about the here and now for us and focusing on the challenge ahead, what Germany are good at, um, the areas we can exploit, what we can do to hurt them, um, all of the things that we can actually focus on and, and then do in the game. And that's that's all, all our energy goes into really. So. We don't get too caught up on, on the history and, and what's happened previously. You've had a lot of time to watch quite a few of the Germany games, I'm guessing over the last couple of weeks. What have you made of them, particular threats? And it, you know, they've obviously had a, quite a mix of changed fortunes throughout the tournament. Yeah, but they're a top team. You know, if you go through every single position on the pitch, you've got world class players everywhere. So it's always going to be a tough game. Um, but we're a good team as well. We're very good players. So. I've got full confidence in the lads that we can go out there and put on a brilliant performance at Wembley and get into the next round and that's what we need to, to try and do. Thank Thanks, you. Rob. Uh, back to Zoom with Dan Kilpatrick of The Standard. Hi, Jordan. Uh, looking ahead to the game, um, with the ball, do you think England are better at keeping possession now than, than you were in Russia? And, and without the ball, uh, you would have seen what, what Tony Cruz can do with space and the Champions League quarter-final first leg. So, so how important without the ball is it to deny him kind of space and time to, to pick his passes? Yeah, with the ball, it's extremely important to, to keep it, you know, to, yeah, especially against Germany. You know, the fantastic team who, who have got very good technical players who can dominate games with the ball. Um, so you need to be really solid without the ball. You need to be defensively solid like we have been. So when you continue that, um, because they have players like Cruz that can that can hurt you, um, as we've seen plenty of times in the past. Um, a world-class player who can really hurt you with time and space. So we need to make sure that without the ball, um, we're really, really solid. And then when we get it, we need to be calm and composed, um, but also um, positive with, with the player, getting getting the ball forward and trying to create as many chances as, as we can. Because like I said before, we've got some fantastic forward players who can hurt any opposition. Um, so if we can get the ball into them and, and let them go and do the thing, then I think we can be in for a real um, a real good night on, on Tuesday. Thanks, Dan. OK, we've got time for a couple more. We'll go to Mark Manbryans, the PA, next. Hi, Jordan. Um, you took a bit of a stick uh, for the missed penalty in the warm -up. I just wondered if there'd been any conversation internally about that. and. Would you have any issue stepping up again from the spot if needs be on Tuesday night? No, I think I think it was blown out of proportion to be honest after the game. Um, so no, nothing to be said after or internally. Um, I was obviously disappointed to to miss, but yeah, I was I was more disappointed for for Dom as well because he could have had a, another goal for for England, but. Yeah, but it was it was it was a thing that was probably blew up, blew out of proportion a little bit. So um, no need to to dwell on that and, and speak about it after. Um, yeah, in terms of in terms of penalties going forward, we have we, we practice penalties here all the time, especially in tournaments, and um, the gaffer will, will just depending on who's playing and who finishes the game and things like that. The gaffer will will decide his penalty takers on the night. So. Um, yeah, it's not, it's not really down to me, but of course, I'll always take one. Thanks, Mark. Uh, to Sammy Mockbell next. Hi, Jordan. Can the, can the fact that the, the, the squad's so young um, perhaps be a benefit? Because it will be the biggest night, maybe, that, that some of these lads have, 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 have played in. And, 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 what, and, and what is your role moving forward for that, for, for, for that night in terms of helping those helping those kids, not just at the game, but for, throughout the build-up? Well, I think, you know, we have, like you said, we have got quite a young squad, um, but I think that can be a positive thing, like you say, 
You know, you, they, a lot of them, these lads just go out and play, enjoy the game, play with no fear. And that's what they need to do again on, on Tuesday. Go and enjoy it. Go and show everybody how good they are. Um, but, yeah, use the emotion and the passion in the right way to give you energy for the game. Um, because that can be the difference, really. So, yeah, of course, as an experienced player, I can I can help with that and make sure that we're in the right frame of mind going into the game and make sure training's um, at the level it needs to be over the next few few days to prepare for for that one. But yeah, everybody's confident, everybody's feeling good, and we've got a good few days to prepare for a, for a huge game. Um, but the, a lot of the lads have played in huge games already. You know, Champions League finals. Champions League games, cup finals, um, big games for England. So they're used to big games, even though they're young. Um, and I'm sure they're looking forward to this one Tuesday. Thanks, Sammy. And we'll finish with Neil Squires from the Express. Uh, hi, Jordan. You mentioned um, all the practice that you do regularly on, on the penalties as a squad. C can you just expand on that a little? How, how, how do you shape that? Do you try and mimic the competitions? Or do you walk up from a long distance to take them? Fake crowd noise. What? How does it? How does it work? Um, well, I don't want to go into too much detail. You know, I can't. Tell, I can't tell you too much because it's penalties at the end of the day. But yeah, the process is like you would in a game. So yeah, walk up, do your process that you would that you would do in the game, and and what you would do if you had to take one, um, and that goes around the whole team. So yeah, that's we've we've done that for a long time. No, it's not just this. This tournament, we've done we've done that for for a while. Okay, everybody, we'll conclude it there. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you. Cheers.